माई डियर नीट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर एस्पिरेंट्स बी अलर्ट डोंट गेट स्कैम्ड येस आई एम योर विंध्या राव विल बी टीचिंग यू बायोलॉजी टूडे आई एल बी टेलिंग यू वॉट आर द लेसन दैट यू कैन लर्न फ्रॉम जे ई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर स्कैम बाई द वे वॉट इज दिस जे ई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर स्कैम सो लेट्स फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड इफ यू डू नॉट नो सो यू नो दैट जे ई एग्जाम्स विल बी हैपनिंग इन डिफरेंट शिप्स राइट सो दिस ईयर ऑन ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ जैन ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी फोर विच वॉज द शिफ्ट वन सो इन दिस पर्टिक्युलर शिफ्ट स्टूडेंट्स वेर एबल टू गेट नाइंटी परसेंट नाइंटी परसेंट टाइल इफ दे गेट वन फिफ्टी प्लस मार्क्स एंड सिमिलरली इफ दे वॉन्ट टू गेट नाइंटी नाइन परसेंट टाइल देअ स्कोर शुड बी टू फोर्टी प्लस राइट so you know that je rank is based upon all of this percentile it is not based upon the score but it is based upon the percentile not percentage there are a lot of differences between percentile and percentage right and in the different shift that was on 31st jan 2024 shift 2 if you see students who were getting 99 percentile their score was 150 which was same as the score is same as the shift one 27th jan 2024 but the percentile is different i still remember on that day when the uh, result was out many students like few students texted me and they were like wondering ma'am i have scored this much but look at my percentile what should be done so this is all about j scam right so even though the score was same the percentile was different and the huge differences with respect to ranks you can see uh, the the difference is uh, even in lakhs right because of this different percentile even the score is same so <clears throat> what is the lesson that you guys can learn so you shouldn't be getting scammed so before understanding the lessons let's first see what and all drawback that you have that is what and all different drawbacks that need 2024 aspirants uh, have got you know uh, for the ranks and the scores so syllabus has been reduced so since syllabus is being reduced we are able to see we are able to see a lot of chapters are been deleted so syllabus has been re reduced and uh, cause of this there is chance of the cut off can go very high so the chances cut off can go very high because syllabus has been reduced which means um, there used to be certain difficult question from few chapters like if you consider uh, transport in plants which is of uh, you know the botany so lot of difficult question used to come from this chapter but since they have deleted these chapters like lot of chapters has been deleted in biology specifically so you need not study that much compared to previous year aspirants right and increased applicant so this year application has been just started right <clears throat> right so last year the applicants were approximately i guess uh, 20.87 lakh right so this year it will definitely increase because there is no age limit for neat exam anybody can write neat exam not just to your parents can also write neat exam even i can write neat exam because there is no age limit so number of applicants is going to be definitely more and there is going to be very high cut off cost of all of these so students ask us ma'am what Uh, is a rank that i should be getting to get into this particular college but this time we can't talk about the rank because of all of these factors you have to just aim in you have to just aim of getting good score so aim should be the score not the rank right what should you do exactly you shouldn't be aiming for any of the rank and please do forget about your categories you think oh i belong to this particular category so it's okay if i score more but no the category um since all cause of these factors that is cause of the high cut off we can't predict about if you get this much uh, score even if you are belonging to some category if you get less score you are able to get into your dream college no that we can't predict okay 
so please do forget about your categories and don't aim about a particular rank but you have to aim about the score now what should be your aim score how much you should be scoring in neat 2024 the score should be your aim should be 720 out of 720 because if you aim this you will be getting at least something around <clears throat> 700 plus when i say aim it is not just aiming you also have to work uh, towards your aim right but when you are thinking of i should be getting this much, uh, this much, this much score to get into this particular college don't think if i get 600 plus it is okay because if you aim for 600 you will get 500 out of 720 and which will shatter your dream so that is why aim for full marks not for any rank okay and what you can do right now because only few months are remaining so today that is on 19th feb 2024 i'm recording this so exam is on may 5th right so you have feb uh, march and april so around two and half months you have got let's consider that so what is the things that you have to do now so now it uh, it is a time of vigorous preparation so you have to revise with the help of one shot it is not the time to start any new new chapter no you won't get enough time it is a revision time and how much you have to study A lot of students ask how much i have to study 10 plus hours 10 is minimum okay and that 10 hours it's a you know you have to study effectively not like just for the sake of it sitting and studying and watching one shot so the uh, one shot that you're watching which is for the revision right which is to make all the concepts to stick in your head right so that should be effectively done with a sleepless nights if required right and you have to aim of solving 100 plus questions in a day combined pcmb i mean pcb okay so if you aim 100 questions at least some 70 questions you are able to solve and answer so aim and solve 100 questions per day and avoid 3ds now what are these 3ds with the first 3d the first d that we are discussing in this 3ds is distraction if if some if some app is distracting you let's say instagram please do uninstall no you can watch your instagram reels and post if, soon after the neat exam on 5th may soon after your exam you can download instagram and you can watch entire day you can leave your sleep for that but not now because it will be distracting i'm just giving the example of instagram but lot of other things maybe a girl or a boy would be distracting please to tell them please, please do tell them i will talk after two months after three months okay so please do avoid the distraction this is the valuable best time just another three months just push yourself maybe you can write in your you know um you would be having a dream board i have dream board even if i am a not student still i have a dream board and in that dream board i have written that i want to be the best i am the best so there are different things i do not want to re reveal what exactly i have written in my dream board so i am very sure you will also make another dream board for yourself and in that dream board what you will be writing push yourself for another 3 months okay you can write uh, how many months 90 days remaining 78 days remaining so you can do that as well and avoid demotivation i'm not saying that to get motivated watch a motivational video i don't think so that will help now because if you continuing simply watching the motivational video that will be consuming your time so just avoid demotivation whenever you feel like demotivated just think this demotivation this stress this depression is for another two months another three months so just think in that way so avoid demotivation and avoid daydreaming this is a exam preparation time but lot of students what do they do is they dream they dream themselves living in aims college hostel no it is not the dreaming time it is the time to work on your dreams my dear students so stop daydreaming stop thinking you have already cracked neat exam you have already you know you're already into your dream college no don't dream anything just it's the time to study work hard 
solve questions and it is a, just the preparation time not the dreaming time and embrace hug the four d's which are these four d's the four d's are dedication determination and detachment and finally demotivation what is determination what what is dedication you have to dedicate yourself fully for neat exam i know some of the subjects won't um, you know make you get interest right so it is okay you are just doing it to get into your dream uh, medical college so just stop thinking about you don't like this just dedicate yourself just work hard for it okay just work hard to get into your dream college just dedicate and this dedication is going to be just for another 3 months right and determination don't give up at any cost do have a determination get determined think uh, in this way that after 3 months you can enjoy but now you have to work hard okay and the fourth d is the third d is detachment what is the meaning of detachment get detached from all your parents friends girlfriend boyfriends relatives get detached if your parents are going to marriage you do not go because when you go there you get distracted people will be asking you they'll be asking multiple questions and you may see some people and you may feel like ha huh, his life is so beautiful no don't get into uh, don't go to any functions anything but yeah if you are feeling extremely stressed you can for a break just for a break you can go but make sure that you won't be distracted if you go to any sort of a function with your parents same similar way don't have a you know hang out or something like that with your friends so it's a detachment time so these 3 months get detached from everything from everyone it can be uh, detachment even from your social media from mobile from gaming and all these things and the last d very important be devotional now devotional is not like you have to pray to god yeah definitely you have to pray to god i'll tell you why but the devotion should be towards the subjects so think that physics chemistry biology are your god and you will you will recite few chemi uh, chemical reaction or some sentences for god now why you have to pray do pray every day ask god what is uh, uh, like you may have some dream marks of like imagine i want 720 out of 720 remember you have to also work for that not simply praying okay so you have to you have to ask god uh, please give me 720 out of 720 make me study every day make me solve all all of this questions i am not saying god is there and god will give you i am saying by praying every day you are actually making your subconscious mind to train to study to work hard that is why you have to pray not because god is there and god will be giving you all you want god might be there may not be there we do not know but because of praying every day you are making yourself to study to work for your dream right so that is all for today that is what i wanted to talk about so let's meet in the next class next video until then bye and all the best